All right. So the next topic I want to be covering is file-based music on hold. So this was a big addition to the to the Shortel system. When, you know when it released, I think last or maybe a little over probably a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now it came out. But we have a lot of customers that are just you know they haven't quite upgraded to the newer releases to get the file-based music on hold. So they're still using jack-based music on hold, you know, an MP3 player plugged into one of the switches or a music on hold device that you can change out. This just gives you a little bit more flexibility because you control everything from the server level. The biggest drawback I would say to file-based music on hold is that every time I put a customer on hold, if I were, you know, I push the hold button on my phone, the music file that we have selected plays from the beginning every time. So if I put a customer on hold for 30 seconds, I take them off, I put them back on hold for 30 more seconds again, both times they're going to hear the exact same 30 seconds of hold music. That's kind of the only drawback is they don't have a way yet currently to do a music stream, which is you know what bigger call centers call a music stream where the audio file just continually plays on the server. and You drop you know people back in and out of that, that continuous music. So it does start from the beginning every time, but it gives you a lot more flexibility as we're going to cover here for your music on hold uh, on the on your system. The other thing that's important is that all of the files have to be in the short tail format, which means if you get an MP3, you, you buy an MP3 of you know music, royalty free music from iTunes or something like that, it's going to have to be converted to a WAV file first, and then once it's in a WAV file. It needs to be converted to an 8 kilobit, 8 bit mono MULA format, which for most people have no idea what that means. We, we simply use an audio conversion file or, or application. So if you do need some assistance with that, you have a WAV file or a file you'd like to use for music on hold, you can email it over to our support team and we can help you convert that. Uh, get it back to you so that you can import it into your short system. If you try to import another file, you just, you know, it'll either air out or when you try to play it, it'll just play dead air because it's in the wrong format. So the, the phones can't recognize it or the server can't play it. So like I said, is you control all of this from your shoreware director. So we log into our shoreware director. A little bit trickier places where this is, 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 is handled. It's under the call control. So we, we go to call control, we go to music on hold. Under music on hold, we're going to have our options you know, for files, which is where we're going to import different files. If you were to click on your files now when you're on Shortel 14.2 already, you should automatically see a file in there called Shortel. Shortel puts like a three-minute music file on every server by default. So you have a file you could use on the system. It's obviously nothing fancy. It's a royalty-free music they, you know, they bought rights to and then they put on every system. But we can simply hit the new, or we can even delete old ones from there, new, and then it just pops up a browse, and I'm just going to browse something off my computer. So you can see you know, on my computer, I found a WAV file, and I'm going to give it a name. So new music on hold is the, is the, is the name I'm going to use. I'm going to hit the save. When I hit the save, it's going to upload that file from my laptop up to the server. The server will then make sure it's in the right format, package it up, throw it to the SNTV server, and forward that email that, that music out to any other server or switch that's that's set up. So now we've got the file in there, we need to be able to look at the system defaults. So how are we gonna you know play the different messages that we've imported in there? So under system defaults one of the probably best things that most of our customers are liking with this capability is we now finally have the capability to play music and hold for internal calls. So if you've had short term installed for a few years, you know, and you're not on 14.2 yet, when somebody, you put somebody on hold, you know that they're going to hear dead air. They don't get any hold music. They're, they have to look at their phone every, you know, every little bit to make sure that they're still on hold. So with internal calls now, we can do either file-based music on hold, which you see in my selection, or tone. So tone is really just, it just plays a beep. So you, so they know every so often, oh, I'm still on hold because I, I'm getting the beep. Or you can still set it to none and leave it disabled if you're not interested in, in having internal music on hold. You can still leave it at none. Most of our customers will switch it to file-based. 
even if they want to keep their jack based music on hold for their you know for their customers you could still turn on file based music on hold for your employees so that way when you put each other on hold you at least hear something rather than dead air below that you have your file based system defaults this is where you tell the system if you don't know what to do with music on hold do this so in my file based system default it's going to select uh, music you know i can see music on hold or i think i actually have a screenshot here um i hope that one's for the next one so you you can select the different file based size so if i were to drop down where it says new music on hold you'll see shortel you'll see new music on hold you know so you'll have a different a couple different options of what you can select for the for this the system default you can also select jack based is your is your default so if you do want to stick to jack based you could just leave it as the jack based music on hold and not select one of the new files if you make any changes here obviously hit the save button that'll tell the system okay now if a user were just to go ahead and hit the hold button on an internal call they'll immediately start hearing you know hearing hold music so we got a lot. We get a lot of questions on what else can we do with music on hold because internal hold music is music is great, but you know there's probably a lot more we can do with with hold music. So one of the nice things with file based is it gives us the capability to customize our music on hold by user groups. So we have a lot of customers. Their user groups are location based. So I have a Seattle user group, a Portland user group, a Los Angeles user group, a you know, San, a San Jose, and we can actually specify different file based music for each user group. So if I'm in the San Jose user group and I put a, a caller on hold, I can play different music than if you know Travis puts a customer on hold and he's up in Seattle, which is nice. It gives us a lot of flexibility. Sometimes user groups are department based. So, you know, if the accounting department wants to play different music than the sales department, we have a lot of that flexibility. So, in order to, to set that up, we simply log into our director page, expand our users, and go to user groups. And when you select this, you're going to have most customers have at least 10 user groups on the right hand side of the page. So you need to just select one of the user groups that you want to modify for. If you're not sure who is in these user groups, you can go to your individual users page just above user groups. And when you're looking at all the different individuals, you'll see what user group they belong to. So you can say, oh, looks like the bulk of our users are in the staff user group or in the executives or, you know, or in some special user group that you've created in the past. So once we find a user group that we want to change the music on hold for, we select that user group and you're going to get, like you can see on the right hand side, you're going to get a music on hold drop down box. So system default is what it should be set to. So if we change our system default to be file based, it'll already be, you know, playing the, uh, the file based or, you know, if you select a jack based, it'll still be playing the jack based music on hold to customers that are put on hold by users in this group. But you can see in the drop down here, I can change it to the short tone one, which is the default music that comes on the system, or my new one, the new music on hold. So I can select which which music I want to play when these caller or these users put callers on hold. The other option we have for file based music on hold is we can we can select the music on hold based on the phone number that our customers called. So if we have a particular phone number that they call, that's a new marketing line and we want to do some special music on hold or marketing that is part of the music on hold, we can control the music on hold by a local phone number that they called, any 800 number that they called, or even just a phone number that goes to a single employee. And when that employee puts them on hold, I can play different hold music than if you just, you know, if somebody just called my regular extension. So we have a little bit of flexibility. And how, how we accomplish this is... If you log in and look at trunk groups underneath trunks in your shortware director page, this is going to show you like all your dial tone in your system. It's, it's going to show you your analog lines, your SIP dial tone, your PRIs. We don't have the capabilities to control it on analog lines, but we do with SIP or PRIs. 
So on the right-hand side, you can see that I have, um, I'm looking at my Broadvox SIP trunk. I have a Broadvox SIP trunk. And you see the edit DNS map button. And you know, that's where we can control all of this is, is from a DNS map capability. So a lot of people ask us, you know, well, what capabilities, you know, or what is a DNS table? You know, what capabilities do I have with a DNS table? And DNS just stands for dialed number identification service. It's pretty much just a fancy number name for like a big routing table. What we when you open up your DNS map, it's really just a big list of phone numbers that say when this phone number calls into the system, route the call to this person or this extension. So it could be a front desk, you know, a, a, a work group, an auto attendant, different, you know, or particular users. So that's really all a DNS table is or DNS map. It's just a big routing table. So as I select the DNS map, you'll see any route, any any DNS entries that you have in the system. And on the bottom of the page, you can see that I've kind of screenshotted adding a new one to the system. So in the first field, you put in the phone number that you're receiving. And the number of digits that you have to put in there, see where, see where I put 1-800-123-456-7, that's a 10-digit phone number. And you can see from the top right page or picture in the broad box, it says number of digits from the CO or from the carrier is 10 digits. So anytime I put, I build a phone number in here, into my system, I need to use 10 digits. If that said four digits or seven digits, you would only need to use the last four or last seven digits of a phone number in that first field because that's all that the carrier is sending us. We're not getting a full 10 digit, we're getting a partial phone number. So that's what you kind of, that selects how many or tells you how many number phone or digits you need to put. The second one where I put new 800 number, this is just a text field. This is for you in six months when you log into the system and say, Oh, what was, I have no idea what this phone number is used for. Just a text field, you could put a new 800 number. You could say, you know, um, web marketing number. And you, know, you could put some something in there that tells me in six months that tells you what that number is used for. And then the extension. So extension here, I have this one, you know, set up. To, it would go to my direct extension. But like I said, it can go to an auto attendant. It can go to a work group, a hunt group, a front desk. You, you could route it to, a, you know, to really any extension in the system or group of you know users using a hunt group or a work group or if you don't remember what somebody's extension is you can simply hit the search button there and search through you know by first name or last name or group you know work group name and find the the different extension that you want to route those calls to and then on the right hand side you have a little drop down where i selected new music on hold you can select any of the file base so if i selected that drop down you would see shortel and you would see new music on hold and that's where you could have multiple files. There is a limitation on the number of file a music on hold you can have. Server's limitation is a lot bigger. It's usually it comes down to your your short if you have like V switches that have less memory for music on hold. You know, you, you can only store a few a few music on hold files on the server side. I think we could store like 20 music on hold file on hold files. So we have a lot more flexibility if it's a server playing the music on hold than if it's a short tail switch. And the V switches are the only switches that currently that play music on hold. Everything else, the music on hold is played from the server. The, and then once you select the music on hold, you hit this add this record on the left-hand side. If you don't hit add this record and you hit save, it'll just erase the new line that you added. So you have to hit the add this record to write that entry into the, the DNS map. Once it's you hit the add this record, then you can hit the save button on the top. So that's a, the big thing with your DNS map is to, to remember. DNS maps are, are useful. We, we've talked about in the, in the past is when if an employee leaves and I want to route their phone number to another employee, that's another good use for a DNS map. In this case, we're just going to use, you know, to select the music on hold. The other important thing to know about file-based music on hold, which is different than jack-based music on hold, is we can have file-based music on hold go across your WAN connection where jack based short of disables jack based music from you know from going across the WAN so you need to have a music source at every one of your sites if you're if you're doing jack based so you'd have to have an MP3 player or a music on hold device at every one of your locations. In this case you could have the server playing music on hold and it'll send that that music stream across your WAN connection and you can play music on hold to your remote sites without having to buy remote devices. So that's another nice benefit of the, the file-based music on hold rather than sticking with the traditional 
jack-based music on hold.